It is very quiet this time of year. No buzzing, no, no sounds at all. It's just quiet out in the fields. It's hard, hard to be out in that environment when you've never seen it like that before. When we're in full production, this whole west side of the valley is just buzzing. People with equipment, with airplanes in the sky, trucks rolling down the road, moving seed to put in the fields. You're seeing the fields flooded. You're just seeing all the animals come in. You're, you've got ibis just flocking into the fields. You always have the shorebirds chasing the edge of that water where it's hitting the dry dirt. Little baby ducklings and baby goslings out there. Our farms are out working and doing what we know how to do, and we're in our environment bustling with activity. All the, the parts stores are busy. You know, the restaurants, the grocery stores are early in the morning, they're jam packed with people. Everything is happy and everything's working. And now this whole thing is just a, just a disaster, really. You go out in the rice fields in the rice country on this side of the valley and it's just, they're all empty. It's just bare dirt and there's just nothing growing. No employees out in the fields, nobody's out working them. It's probably 80% of my farm is just parked it's just, there's just nothing happening. Everybody that depends on agriculture in our rural economies are not busy. If I'm not paying my guys, you know, the overtime, the double time, because we don't have work to do, their tractors aren't moving, our tires don't need to be replaced, so the tire shop guys, they aren't as busy. It just trickles right down through the whole economy. If the drought continues next year, it'd be felt around the world. We need water to grow rice. We need water for fish, we need water for towns, we need water for all the creatures that survive on the environment that the rice farmers provide. The biggest winter migration waterfowl region in North America is the Sacramento Valley. And where there once was a huge ecosystem, it's just dried up. What solves it is rain above Lake Shasta. Yeah, you know, we can have all the rain in the world if it doesn't, if it falls below Redding, it's not gonna help us. To not have the groundwater replenished by these dry streams that we have on the whole west side of the valley. When they run, they were charging our aquifers and they haven't run in two or three years. And so it's getting really desperate as well. It's never happened before. This is completely unprecedented. It's all new to me, 100%, and, and how we manage it and how we try and survive and get through it. We just do what we're doing, and which is not much. So what would you rather be doing right now? I'd rather be growing rice. <laughs>